Welcome to the Swamp, home of the Florida Gators, and we've long been told it is here that only the Gators get out alive. What a game and what potential drama we have in store. You've seen this script before. Top 10 team goes into a cauldron of emotion on the road and just hopes to be able to get out and tell about it. As we'll see, the number six team in the country, the Alabama Crimson Tide, taking on another SEC rival, the Florida Gators. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. And the Gators will put total leather to crank us up. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. So the Alabama Crimson Tide offense will take the field for the first possession of this game. And not only is this guy the energy and the engine of the offense, there's a certain charisma that he has that sort of elevates everyone around him. He's got a moxie about him, Reese. It just seems like when he's in the huddle, he's got 10 other sets of eyeballs looking at him and believing in him to lead this offense down the field towards scoring points. This guy is a leader in every sense of the word. Alabama quickly back to the line. Takes the handoff. It's Haynes. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. So first down didn't exactly go according to plan. Let's see what they can dial up on second down. Uh, Reese, I got a right problem. Okay, I'm going to throw the football now and get back in shotgun. But forget the running game stuff. We're going to play a little pitch and catch and see how good that secondary is. Just feeds the running back. And a good, solid pickup for the defense cuts him down. I know that wasn't a big, huge play, and everybody's not excited. The fans aren't going crazy. But those are the plays that in the fourth quarter matter a lot. Again, making you tackle my back, making you feel the physicality of the football game throughout so you get tired and get worn down in the fourth quarter. Looking to throw, it's Milrow. Finds a tight end. They're ripping off chunks of yardage. They get it to the 33. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup. He went for it. He attacked it. Got the positive game. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. Alabama rolling quickly downfield. Set up with another first down. He wants to throw. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. This crowd, full throat, splitting the eardrums and letting them know it's going to be a long day. Dialing up a second down pass play. Grabs it in the middle. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. I like this tight end. He does a really nice job on his route run. He's been beating man coverage. He can find the soft spots in the zones. You've got to get him involved. Better find the ear plugged. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Grabbed in the middle, it's Prentice. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. It is getting loud as this crowd tries to help its defense. Caught near the sideline, it's long. And there were no creases or crevices to run through, and they shove him out of bounds. Knowing that your man can make the catch against his defender, that wasn't a big play, but it can set you up down the line to be able to take advantage. Yes, get it to him as fast as I can. When I see him open, he runs the little hitch, get it to him so he can make a little bit of yards after the catch, and eventually that little gain, he's going to bust one of those with his athletic ability. So close to that end zone. He could almost taste it, but it'll be first and goal for this offense. 
Hey, listen, as a receiver, you're running that hitch route against man coverage. You can't loaf on it, right? I know it's just a little short throw, but you've got to make the defender think you might be going deep. So a nice job not just taking it easy on the play. He put his foot in the ground. He drove. And will cruise into the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama! You love as a head coach to watch your offense take the field and establish a rhythm and consistency the way they did there. Everything they dialed up was working to perfection. They go 10 plays on the opening drive and cap it off with a touchdown. He'll try to tack on one more. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. They put together a 74-yard touchdown drive and finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. Let's see if he can make a play on the return. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. So Florida's offense will try to get something started with their first possession. You know, David, both of these teams have a strong safety that can support the run and also disruptive in the passing game. I mean, it's just so nice to have a guy that's so physical, like a linebacker, but also can play like a DB. These guys are really revolutionizing defenses. They hit people, too. They are heat-seeking missiles. Nobody wants to run over the middle of the field against these guys. I don't think the quarterback made the right read on that play. I know they're asking a lot of this QB. He's got a lot to focus on with the pass game and all the different types of runs that they have in their playbook. But on that play there, that pre-snap look told me to hand it off. Quickly to the tight end. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Got it set up on the outside. They play that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. They didn't quite get that route run deep enough to pick up the first down. Now they've got a fourth and short. And I think everybody at home tends to yell at their television set. Why aren't you getting past the first down marker? Why did you run your route short? Defense did a good job knowing where that was. But now, fourth down, offense has to make a decision. On the return, it's Bernard. He gets it up to the 34-yard line before he stopped, and that's where the offense will set up shot. The tied offense rolls onto the field. That last drive really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball down there. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. Second and short now after that completion. On the run, it's Haynes. The Tide will get the first down. A cornerstone of the Alabama program really throughout history has been be physical, establish a running game. Yeah, great running backs. I mean, not only are you recruiting great players in the offensive line and skill and all over the place, but so many great backs that you can name off the top of your head that played at Alabama, that ran it with an edge, that ran it physical, that always represented that style. And you can see Alabama, they're always going to do this. They're going to establish the run. They stop him just short of the first down, but it will be second and inches coming up. Man, when I can run the football like that on first down and create second and inches and stay way ahead of the sticks and, and be in a position now where I can throw the football or the run, I will have a lot of success on the offensive side of the football. Leaves it with the back. On the move at the 30. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. How about the left side of the line getting off the ball, creating some holes for that running back to get through, make a big play on the handoff to the left. When something works that well, you might as well go right back to it. I mean, they showed no indication that they could stop it. I like to go back to it and hurry up, get to the line of scrimmage quick, 
Run it again. Makes his man miss. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Well, right away after picking up a first down, they go right back to their playmaker at running back. And I love the push they got up front, getting a hat on a hat, opening a huge hole for the back. And you become so hard to defend when you can run the football successfully on first down. If you're starting like that, now what opens up? Play action. Now you're making me play pass and run. This offense, if they can create that run physicality, now it opens up everything else. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into it. So Alabama takes the lead into the quarter break. We've put one in the books. Let's have a look at our game summary. see if these guys can get back in the game in the second quarter. Trying to punch it in. And he'll find the end zone. Touchdown, Crimson Tide! I love running backs that have a nose for the goal line. Understand how to get there, finish strong into the end zone, know I get six, and then go celebrate with your boys. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. They put together a 65-yard drive for the score. And they capped it off with a one-yard punch. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. Now we'll get a chance to see if they can answer that last score, trailing by 14, Jesse. Yeah, and at this point in the game, I feel like offensively, you should go back to what's been working for you in this game. Don't be afraid to dial up plays that you've already had success with, running it and throwing it. It's okay to repeat plays down 14 at this point. And I would also say, Palmer, kind of understanding that my defense is not playing great, so I know offensively I got to put some good possessions together here, make something happen on this side of the football. The give to the back. He maybe gets a yard. They'll mark him at the 29. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. Balls at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. It's a draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And they sniff that draw out. With a draw, you, know, you really have to sell that pass like you're going to throw the ball down the field. But the defensive line, the defense was not biting it. You could tell they were ready for it. Came, got on the running back, got him on the ground quick, fast, and hit him early. The Gators decide to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Here comes that Alabama offense. They've jumped on them, executing at a high level and up 14-0, David. This is the exact start you want. I mean, offense is playing great. Defense has gotten stops. You're in a position now, Paula, to put the hammer down and get a three-possession lead. I'm really impressed with their physicality on both sides of the ball early in this one. They've been winning in the trenches. So here on offense, keep running the football and show your dominance. Now on second down. Off the play fake. Grab near the marker. It's ball. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they have a first down at the 43. It's a really nice looking throw. This dude is a weapon in this offense at the quarterback position. It's so funny, you know, I think back to guys like Greg McElroy and A.J. McCarron, guys that may or may not have unfairly been 
tabbed as game managers. And then you think of Jalen Hurts, Tua, and Bryce Young in recent years, and just how dynamic and versatile these guys were at the position and how they've really helped take this offense to the next level. Watching this guy reminds me of a little bit. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Back to throw, it's Milrow. Quickly out to the tight end. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him, too? I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job for him. Shotgun snap. Wants to throw it on third. Complete to the left. And a nice grab there. Big pickup down to the 35-yard line. Hey, we're getting close to halftime, and it looks as if the big fella wants to be all over the highlights. Goodness gracious, he, he is open. When he leaves the huddle, apparently he's open. A ton of catches already early in this ball game. They are featuring him and finding him. On the ground, it's Haynes. They get him down, but he does pick up three to the 32-yard line. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. He's looking to throw. Can't find a man, and he'll be knocked down at the 40. He was lurking, waiting for his opportunity, and like a gator in the swamp, he went into the roll and got that quarterback. They did, and I tell you what, when you want to be dominant in this league, if Florida wants to get back to being a dominant team, it's got to be guys like this in the trenches dominating football games. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. He's looking downfield to throw. Keeps it going. And he feels the heat coming in and burns him up. Another sack. Well, obviously, at this point in the first half, the defense is finding themselves in a hole. You just get the feeling if they're going to get back in this, they're going to need more plays like that. They're going to need sacks. They're going to need turnovers. They're going to have to create negative plays to get themselves some money. So they're going to send out the field goal unit to try a long one. He's going to have to break out the Thunderfoot on this one, a 57-yard attempt. And he missed it. No good. Missed the field goal, but still a two-touchdown lead of 14. Sending the offense back to work. The league's not insurmountable just down 14-0, but David, you don't score here, and it can get a little tricky fast. If you don't score here, if you don't possess the football and put something together to give your defense a little bit of a blow, it's not the ideal start. But it ain't like this game's late in the football game. Create some momentum here in the second quarter. Yeah, momentum's a real thing in college football. This team needs the juju to get going. That first quarter is one they'd love to forget. So find your best playmakers now. Get them isolated. Get them the football and let them go to work. Finds his man. It's Badger. Tackled after picking up the first down. Nice job finding my wide receiver. And then how about the wide receiver turning into a running back, getting upfield, getting some positive yards, and getting the first down. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this thing has been one-sided, and they hope to at least have something to feel good about going into halftime. Now from the 48-yard line, it's first and 10. Dropping back, it's Mertz. Got his man down the middle. And they get to him and knock him down to prevent a big game. It's definitely the wide receiver's job to create space, right? So whether you're running a go, whether you're running a hitch like this right here, I got to find a way 
to push off the end or just create a little bit of space to get some positive yards. Line getting set on second down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the tight end. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. They saw that blitz coming, and the way to get out of it is find the tight end. Yeah, how quick did he see that, too? Sees the blitz, understands this is a matchup where I got my big tight end, the big fella I trust. I'm going to find that matchup, get him the football for the first down. Finally, this offense starting to shake the cobwebs and get things moving. It's first and ten. Finds his man. It's Wilson. And that defense pushing him out of bounds after a short game. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in the pre -step. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. And that's why he seems like he's in a great way. He wants to throw here on second down. Snagged in the middle. It's Hanson. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down marker. The modest gain on the completion really shows why you want to run the zone, make them execute, and rally to the ball. 100%. Zone eyes on the quarterback. I see him throw the football, break on it, go make tackles, live to fight another down. Back to the air one more time. Got his man quickly. They've got it just outside the red zone. They'll move the chains. It's at the 21. Third and short, and I guess the only thing they really took out of play in the shotgun was the quarterback sneak. Yeah, and that's kind of what I like to do, Reese. I mean, third and inches, I, I want to run the quarterback sneak, run the football, but this team fully comfortable throwing the football, and you see why. Easy pitch, easy catch, first down. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. You know, I know it seems like an easy pitch and catch, but for the tight end there, that route potentially changes if it's man coverage. So good job by him knowing it's zone. I'm just going to sit down. This is basically like a check down, right? Let's just take the easy pitch and catch and keep this drive going. Yeah, and that's nice coverage. He's taking a shot, trying to throw the ball to the end zone. Maybe put that thing up a little bit higher where his guy can go up and make a play and come down. But a nice job by the defender just getting his fingertip on the top of the football. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. Looking downfield, it's Mertz. Gets it out fast. Stop at the three, but it'll be enough to give them a first and goal. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. This offense needs a little something to feel good about going to halftime. A chance to chip away here on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And makes his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Gator! Yeah, that's a nice drive, a nice physicality, punching it in with the run game. And here's the thing, I like where this offense is going. Nice job creating some momentum, going into the half, cutting down the lead. This thing could get really exciting. Nice job answering the bell right before the half. PAT unit on the field. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. So that's a 60-yard touchdown drive. And close the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. Just about set to kick it away. He'll take the return, try to get better field position. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. Looking to go up top on first down. A strike downfield. And he's got enough for the first down. It'll be at the 35. This is a very tough slot receiver to cover if you're a linebacker because of how quick and how shifty he is. You never seem to know which way he's going, and he always seems to create an open space for his QB. This will likely be the last play of the half. Wants to throw on first down. Quick completion on the out route. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a 
first down. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks, guys. What a scene there in Gainesville. What a fine college football game we've got. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. And with that, let's send it back to our men in the swamp. The Gators will kick it away first and will start the second half. Fielded in the end zone, it's Hawkins. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. Florida has the ball back and here comes the offense. Tight game as we start the third quarter and we'll see what type of adjustments they made at halftime. And getting the ball first here I think is such a big deal. Like I get the first chance to make a statement, to make the adjustments, to create some momentum for my squad right here in the third quarter. Yeah, I think it's so important for this offense to set the tone here early in the second half, to get a nice drive going, build that confidence, and, and get your defense ready to come on out, get a stop, and change the complexity of this game. The give to the running back from the shotgun. And the Gators pick up the first down. And most importantly, they got the first. They've been getting pushed around up front this game and haven't created a lot of lanes to run the football, but you needed it. You needed that first down. You needed to get the sticks moving. You need to run some clocks. So good job by the offense finding a little bit of space to get the first down. Defense didn't maintain its discipline there, and they get into the neutral zone. It'll cost them neutral five yards. Defense. 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 Defense had them backed up, and then they're in the neutral zone, and the offense will say thank you very much. Back to pass. It's Mertz. Can't hold on. He had him right down the middle, and he flat dropped him. Well, that looked like it was going to be a completion, but how about the defender making the hit and forcing the incompletion? Offense gets set for second down. The handoff to Johnson. Found a little space, and he's got four to the 35. And, you know, when we talk about great third down defenses, it really starts with them getting stops on first and second down. You've got to get those stops early in the drives to set up third and long, so that's a missed opportunity on that second down by this defense. These are the types of plays where offenses impose their will, third and short from the 45. They'll try to power their way ahead. And he gets it up to the 36. It'll be a first down. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. The Gators are flying down the field. Pulls it and fires to the left. They make the stop after the catch, and still some work to do to pick up that first down. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands, get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it's still a positive game. Kept it on the ground last time, bringing up a second down. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. Quick pass on the jet motion. I love the idea, and I love just finding ways to get your best players out in the open field. This pre-snap motion and using it to their advantage on that last play, I think that was a nice call. The Gators come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Movement here from the tight end. Wants to throw on first down off the play fade. He's got an open man. And they are finding some space in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. A big game there as they did a tremendous job working the middle of the field. Yeah, and if you're going to complete that throw, Reese, quarterbacks have got to play with anticipation. You've got to get it out of your hands early and give your receiver an opportunity before the defense gets to the ball. From the 25-yard line, it's first and 10. The play action fake. Right down the middle. He's got it. And what a throw to get it in there. And they've got it in business. 
in the red zone at the 13. I'll tell you, man, I love quarterbacks that have arm talent, but that can throw it accurately at the same time. And you saw all of it on that in route. It's first and 10 from the 13. Now from inside the red zone. He caught it. They will score. Touchdown, Florida. A methodical drive that they finish off by tossing it to the tight end. And the tight end, I'll tell you what, this is a position that's evolved so much, right? And you see him move all over the field. It's kind of like, where is Waldo? you got to find this big fella, especially down in the red zone area. This is the guy they're going to target and make the big play, get the touchdown. Lining up for the PAT. And after that extra point, we have a tie ball game in the third quarter. They march 78 yards down the field, and they finish it by firing one in from the 13 for the score. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. On the move from inside is five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The tied offense rolls onto the field. Trying to find his man on first down. Caught in the backfield, it's Haynes. And this one will be stopped for no gain. That little swing pass was designed to get the running back loose and get him some space, and the defense was there to shut it down. Yeah, and I want to get him the ball in space. i got to find ways to make that happen. But after he catches it, I need him to be a great running back. I need him to make people miss and, and make big plays. I, I'm finding ways to get him touches. Now he's got to make those big plays for me. They stop him after a six-yard run out to the 24. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Shakes off the tackle. Finds his way for a couple but stops short of the marker. It's fourth and one. You know, I really like this QB running the football because I know he's got a lot of speed, but he's not the biggest guy in the world. So he's not going to be able to break a lot of tackles. So you really got to do a good job of trying to scheme ways to get him out of more space. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Running it back, it's Hawkins. Ball noses his way through. He gets it up to the 34-yard line before he stopped, and that's where the offense will set up shot. The Gators sending the offense back to work. How big is this drive? Scored a touchdown the last time they had it. Defense gets a stop, and now it's up to them in a tie game. All right, so if you're the offensive coordinator here, let's dial it in. Who are your best matchups and best playmakers to take advantage of this golden opportunity? Yeah, and I'm interested to see this defense, too. Like, the momentum is clearly not in your favor. How do you get it back? How do you make a big play? Do you be more aggressive here to try to get the football back to your offense? Quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. Good pick up on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. Here on third down. Looking downfield, it's Mertz. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus, and the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You've got to be able to make that play. And the Gators send out the punt unit. He'll get it out to about the 20-yard line, and that's where they'll mark him down. Here comes that Alabama offense. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. 
You know, last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. Now on second down after the good first down run. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Better find the ear plugged. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. He's got his man across the middle. They'll keep this drive moving by picking up the first down. They have it at the 36. What a ride. It's been through the first three quarters of this game. We are all tied up. Let's check out some stats. These two teams about to find out what they're made of as we open the fourth all tied up. To the ground with the back. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. You gotta give this defense credit because they have bottled this guy up all game long. He's one of the best running backs in all of college football. Everybody was expecting him to have a big one today. I'll tell that to this defense, though. They've played with great effort. They've gotten hats to the football, and they have been able to shut him down. They'll leave it with him. Gets it past the marker. And he's to the 48-yard line. That'll be good enough for a first down. Well, the defense is on their heels right now. They're going to have to find a way to stop this guy. He's got a head of steam. Boy, he is hard to bring down. This Alabama offense is clicking. They're set up with another first down. From the gun, the running back has it. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Not much running room. He had to break a tackle and still break another tackle to try to get back to the line of scrimmage. Not good blocking on the play. But that's what coaches always emphasize, too. Never assume a teammate's going to make the tackle. You run to the ball, and they did it there. 100%, especially guys that are so big and strong and elusive nowadays. They're going to break tackles. Keep swarming, keep hitting them. Next guy, don't, don't assume the tackle's going to be made. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. And offenses nowadays, they're really just counting numbers. How many guys do you have out wide? How many guys do I have out wide? If I have enough guys to block your guys, boom, it's just built into the offense. Pitch, catch, let me get a few yards. Big third down as the crowd gets behind this defense. The short hands, it's Bernard. They'll move the chains. Good execution on third down. They've got it at the 41. Third down, a lot of times it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, who do you trust the most? No, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding you. Caught behind the line. It's Miller. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. They were able to make the completion, but he had to pick his way for just a little bit. Needed a little more help to spring it for some yardage. Yeah, if you're going to have success when you throw it outside like that, you're going to need some more blocking and better blocking down the field. Give the defense credit, though. They were able to rally and made a tackle. Off play action. Makes the grab on the left. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Well, the tight end's trying to work the middle of the field. Nobody even close to him in coverage. It's not going to get any easier than that for the quarterback. That's an easy first down. Alabama pushing the tempo. From the red zone, he's going to throw it using the quick game. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Well, when you're running the drag route against man coverage like that, as a quarterback, you've got to put the ball out in front of your target. When you do that, you give the guy a chance to then advance the football up the field, pick up the first down like they did right there. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Pressure coming. And the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. 
Well, the offense has made it known on this drive. They're trying to throw the football. They're going to let this quarterback go to work. The defense does a great job winning up front. They get the sack to try to slow this momentum down. Kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. No good. And after the missed field goal, guys, we are still locked up. And that's just a chip shot. That's just a field goal they got to make, guys. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. He'll keep it himself. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And that option game can be tricky, right? But nice job by the defense playing assignment football. And watch the linebacker. You could tell. Locked in on the quarterback. Chases him down. Gets to him. And not only gets to him, doesn't let him break a tackle. Gets him on the ground. Now looking for that first down on third and short from the 26. Wants to throw. It's Mertz. Got his man on the right. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. And that's kind of a lot of today's running game, right? Spit the ball out quick, get it to your playmakers in space, get positive yards. It's uh, Instead of running the ball a couple yards up the middle, now you just spit it out wide, and a lot of times if you break a few tackles, it could be even bigger. The clock stops. Two minutes left to play in this one. The Gators will snap it on first and ten. He's going to pass. And he can't get it off. Taken down. What a huge play this late in the game. Just a great job defensively, making him go through his progressions, and he really didn't have time to do it. And that's exactly what you do in zone coverage. You drop in your spots. You read the quarterback's eyes. Make sure you take away that quick stuff. And a great job rushing the passer and getting the sack. Well, after not getting a thing done on first down, it's second and long from the 24. He's looking to throw. They're bringing heat. Got it in the middle. It's Johnson. Takes a catch and knock down. I think in this situation, two minutes, trailing late, I think you got to be thrown to the sticks every time. I don't know if these short completions are going to get it done. You're just not going to have enough time to get down the field. So from a play calling standpoint, I think you want to think about being a little bit more aggressive. Everybody has to be set. They have to get it off. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Well, I know it hasn't been a tremendous day statistically for this quarterback, but his decision-making has been good enough to win this game. Hasn't thrown a lot of TDs so far, but when things aren't open, he throws it away like on that play right there. He's not putting his team in a bad spot, and that's why they still have a shot to walk out of here with a W. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Everybody stays in their lanes well enough, and they stop him at the 31-yard line. The tied offense rolls onto the field. On the move, it's Milrow. Get it out on the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Score is deadlocked, and the clock is winding down. 
They'll throw it on first down. Looking to the big tight end. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And, Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. Power football with the run. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Timeout called here by the defense. It's the first one they've used this half. Well, the linebacker's showing you read and react. He knew exactly where that running play was going, and he beat the football to the line of scrimmage and forced the TFL. He'll try it again. These are the ones in the stands where you get booed if it doesn't work. Why would you run the ball in second and long? You stick, go see, or you get the big applause and you're like, yes, nice job. Keeping the manageable third down situation. Good call. So tough spot to be in in second and long. Nice answer. Nice run by the running back. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Alabama will get the first down. The defense going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. That is how it's done on third down. It's true. And no doubt about it. An easy hole to get through and clearly get the first down. If you really want to simplify football, the low man wins. That time, the offense got the better of the D. Easily pick that up. It's wise not to be too greedy, and they'll go ahead and send out the field goal unit. He's missed twice today, but make this one, and he's everybody's hero. Oh, and the attempt is no good. After that failed field goal attempt, fellas, still tie ball game. Guys, let's play some more. Headed to overtime. And this just feels right. Both of these teams going back and forth. So, of course, David, this thing needs to get decided in OT. Let's see who's better. Short amount of time to do it. A couple possessions probably. Maybe one possession each. Who's the better team? All right, guys. So here we go in overtime. And just to refresh everyone's memory, alternating possessions starting on the opponent's 25. And it's so nice to be on defense first, to, to set the tone, to understand what you need. Try to hold them to a field goal. The offense knows they can do their job to go out and get a win. Just two possessions, Palmer. Like, you got to be at your best. Yeah, and I love the new rules, too, because in the third overtime possession, it goes to alternating two-point plays. Back and forth, who's got anything left in the tank here in OT? Off play action on first down. Fires to the wide out. He got it. Touchdown, Gator. And they grab the lead here in overtime. Man, you talk about striking first and creating some momentum in overtime. The first play, you take it to the house and you flip the whole game and put all the pressure on the other sideline. Palmer, that's how you start an OT. Yeah, David, that's just 11 guys on offense locked in. First play, score a touchdown, put all the pressure on your opponent. They understand what it's going to take to win this football game. The all-important extra point would push this lead to seven. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. Now on first down, they need to answer with a touchdown. They're going to throw it to start the drive. Got his man downfield. Touchdown! They got it in the end zone. Now a decision to make with a point after. Man, what a response. You just gave up seven on the other side of the field. Every reason to get dejected. Oh, man. But they come out and they respond and they score on the first play. And now, Jesse, down by one. What do you do? 
And they made it look easy, too, David. And you got to wonder about this defense and how much they have left in the tank. Because of that, maybe if you're on offense, you just decide to end this thing right here. You scored so easily, maybe you could do the same on a two-point play. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football. And he tacks on the extra point. One extra period didn't get it done, and we start the second OT. Off the play fake on first down. Under pressure, and down he goes at the 33. When it's a play-action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. Big first down sack for the defense. Brings up second down. Looking for a man. It's Milrow. He lets one fly deep. And it's incomplete. Going for the massive explosive play instead. They're looking at a third down. Listen, I know, I know DBs don't catch the ball real well. But to be a defensive back, it's one of the hardest positions in football. you got to stay with these big, fast, wide receivers and then try to go track the football and make a play. Great job making a play for his team. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. Fires to the tight end. Touchdown tie! They strike first here in overtime. You gotta love the creativity with the tight ends nowadays. They can do so many different things. Does a good job. He slips behind the defense. Defense doesn't know where he went. And what does he do? He gets in for six. You can tell this quarterback did his homework coming into this game. He has been dissecting this defense with his arm and his mind. Over 300 yards passing now. Now in the second overtime, you must go for the two-point conversion. The give. They got it. Executed beautifully, and the lead is eight in double overtime. They know what's in front of them. They have to answer that score with a touchdown. He's looking to throw it. Got it in the middle. It's Johnson. Listen, running backs are not just running backs anymore. You're going to be a wide receiver in today's football. And a great job sneaking out of the backfield, getting the football, letting them get some positive yards. The Gators have taken it inside the 20. Looking for a man. It's Mertz. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. Well, the quarterback knew he wanted to go to his tight end on that play. He's a big physical target, but it was the hit on the play that forced the incompletion. Huge third down to keep the drive alive. They need a touchdown on this possession. Wants to throw on third. Quick strike complete. Touchdown, Florida! With that, now a two-point conversion away from triple overtime. Field shrinks, tight end grows. Big targets, big results. <laughs> I've never heard it put that way. But you're dang right. That guy is so big, a lot of times you get a DB matched up on him, he can just post him up, a linebacker, he can run by him. So that's why these tight ends are so dangerous down here in this red zone. They've got to get it in on the two-point try to force a third overtime. He's looking to throw. He's got it for the two, and we're all tied up.
So here we go, dueling two-point conversions from this point forward. Wants to go up top. Tremendous execution to get the two, and now they turn up the heat. Now they'll have to respond with a two of their own. They'll go to the air. He's got it in the end zone. Two-point conversion is good, and we've got a tie game. So here we go again, and we'll see just how deep that two-point conversion bag really is. Marches ahead. They got it done with the two, and now they hold the edge deep in overtime. This will be the ball game. Make it and play on, miss it and lose. Back to throw, it's Mertz. They are denied. The two-point try is stopped. And a game-winning play by this defense in overtime. 